Natalie, how did it feel to pull on a Scotland shirt for the first time in 12 years this afternoon and get a 10-0 victory? It's an amazing feeling, to be honest. It doesn't feel that long since I last played because um, the years have passed so quickly, but what a great privilege and what an amazing feeling to step on that pitch and wear that shirt. What were you thinking at half-time? Did you, did you know that you were going on before the game or was it a surprise to you? kind of got the nod five minutes um, before half-time. So, yeah, the nerves kick in, you get excited. Um, and yeah, done a good warm-up, um, got told about the set plays and, yeah, I was ready to go. Scored five goals in the second half, same as the first. That must have pleased you that we didn't let up, that we continued um, to, to score all the goals. Yeah, that was Stuart's message at half time was to keep putting pressure on them, keep the ball, keep moving the ball side to side. And I think we've done that well, second half. What does it mean to you to be called up to the squad again? Because as you mentioned earlier, it has been a long time. Mm -hmm. Like I said, it was a bit of a shock to get a call up, but um, I was always ready to get a call up. And over the years, there has been word of getting called up again. But yeah, what a great feeling. You, you can't replace that feeling pulling on that Scotland shirt. Even hearing the national anthem before the game, it gives you shivers. So it's an amazing feeling. And how important is it for the squad to bounce back to winning ways? Because they obviously come into this game in the back of, of three defeats previously. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, it's an amazing feeling, yeah, there's a great atmosphere in there in the changing room just now. Um, I thought everyone that played in the pitch played, played very well, played their part. So yeah, everyone's looking forward to the next game already. Um, the job's done here, look, look forward to Portugal. So now you'll you be wanting another cap there, do you think? Yeah, I, I'll take anything, yeah. I need to work hard and train. There's training, two training sessions to go before that game. So work hard there and see what happens. And we're staying in Cyprus, of course, for the next game against Portugal. How is that? That must be important for the squad. It sort of keeps the dynamic together and avoids you having to, you know, waste a day travelling or whatever. You, you just stay here in Cyprus. Yeah, again, we rest tonight and then we go again tomorrow, training tomorrow. So, yeah, it's good for the team spirit as well. All the girls are together. And we've got another three, four days before the Portugal game. So I think, yeah, it's important for us all to be together.